Imagine driving under Lagos Lagoon in a tunnel, bypassing traffic snarls and connecting the coast to the far north, all via Africa's first undersea highway link. That vision is now becoming real according to FG plans, but will it deliver or simply drown in delays and cost overruns? The federal government, under Minister of Works David Umahi, has proposed building a 3.5 km underwater, or under Laguna Sea, tunnel running from Amadu Bello Way, Victoria Island in Lagos, through Snake Island or Badagri area, to connect the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway with the Sokoto Badagri Superhighway. The Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway is itself massive, about 700 kilometers passing through eight states, designed as six lanes, with future provisions, like a rail line, and designed to withstand flood or swampy terrain. Why it's a big deal? If completed, this underwater gatunnel link would be Africa's first of its kind for highway connectivity. It's first ever in scale per the government. It could help reduce traffic congestion around Lagos, especially by enabling traffic to bypass choke points, linking directly from central Lagos to the coastal highway and onward. It forms a part of several legacy projects aimed at transforming Nigeria's road infrastructure. The Sokoto Badagri Superhighway, Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, Trans Sahara Highway, and are supposed to cover all six geopolitical zones. Where things stand, progress and new approvals. The government has approved large sums. For example, N2 trillion was approved for parts of the Sokoto Badagri Highway, and 1.65 trillion for sections 4A and 4B of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway in Algun and Ondu states. Roadworks are ongoing. About 1,224 kilometers of highway construction work is in progress across Lagos Calabar, Sokoto Badagri, and Trans Sahara corridors. Engineering complexity building under Lagoon A Sea brings issues. Water pressure, soil type, marine ecology, flooding risks, ventilation, safety, maintenance. Environmental impact need for careful study. Marine and lagoon ecosystems, e.g. Snake Island. Displacement, potential damage from construction, erosion, sedimentation. Funding and cost overruns these projects tend to run over budget. Securing reliable funding, public, private, PPP, is critical. Corruption, inflation, exchange rate issues at risk. Land acquisition and community impact these highways cross many states and communities. Compensation, relocation, legal suits may slow progress. Maintenance and upkeep after construction. Tunnels require ongoing maintenance, specialized staff, safety installations, emergency systems. Without institutional capacity, upkeep may suffer. Regulatory or planning environmental impact assessments, approvals, alignment of government agencies, regulatory oversight will be critical to avoid delays or legal challenges. Potential benefits if it works. If the government addresses the above well, the rewards could be transformative. Reduced travel time and congestion, especially around Lagos, which is one of Africa's most traffic-choked megacities. Enhanced trade corridors, linking north-south, Sokoto Badagri, with east-west, Lagos Calabar, enables smoother movement of goods, potentially boosting exports or imports, internal trade, and market integration. Boost to economic zones along the highways, increased access could drive investments in factories, tourism, housing, logistics hubs. As previously noted, land along the Lagos Calabar Highway is being acquired for housing, factories, tolling units, etc., business day NG. Job creation, large infrastructure projects generate direct and indirect jobs, construction, engineering, operations, maintenance, etc. National integration, better connectivity helps unify remote areas, enable easier access to services, improve social cohesion across states. Risks, what could go wrong? Delays, getting everything from funding to environmental clearances may take years. These mega projects often exceed timelines. Cost escalation, inflation, rising material costs, foreign exchange fluctuations could make initial budgets grossly insufficient. Maintenance neglect, once built, many such infrastructures degrade because maintenance gets underfunded, be it road surfaces, tunnel safety, lighting, drainage. 
corruption and transparency issues. Without strict oversight, funds could be diverted or contracts inflated, stalling the project or reducing quality. Disruption during construction, communities may be displaced, traffic and transportation may suffer, ecological damage could cause backlash. What needs to be done for success? To deliver this tunnel plus highway connection effectively, here are some musts. Comprehensive feasibility and environmental impact studies. Upfront, transparent, published, with stakeholder engagement. Transparent and competitively awarded contracts. To avoid corruption, ensure quality, get best value. Sustainable funding model. Possibly mix of government budget, private sector, PPP. Tolling, maybe foreign investment. Strong regulatory oversight and institutions. Ensure alignment of all agencies. Permit oversight, community representation. Final thoughts. This undersea or under lagoon link between Victoria Island Snake Island Badigree, tied into the wider Sokoto Badigree and Lagos Calabar highways, has the potential to transform Nigeria's transport landscape. Its architectural ambition, economic excitement, and geostrategic connectivity all in one. But the path ahead is full of challenges. Only with careful planning, transparency, strong oversight, and political will can this grand vision avoid ending up as another half-built promise. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this update and want to stay informed with fast, reliable news, don't forget to subscribe to Newsflash 360. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a story. Your next headline is just seconds away.